Good morning, honeys. It is about 9 a.m. I have just been editing my Fury vlog about halfway through, I think. And it's got a cup of tea in this mug. I bought this for my sister. I think I've already said that. Um, but this is week two of Vlogmas. I still don't know whether I'm doing just the Fury fight on its own or including that in week one of Vlogmas. I probably should include it in week one. But I think I've got quite a lot of footage after that. So, yeah, I'm not sure yet, but we will see. I'm just editing the Fury, like, footage now, and then I'll see how much I've got. But, yeah, I hope you're all having a lovely morning. Today is going to be... I finally managed to get enough storage on my MacBook to update it and download the new iMovie. So, that's what I'm on today. I have still got a few little things that I need to do for brands later on but I just want to get these videos out there because um, they're in the back of my mind all the time and it's really stressing me out and obviously I've not been able to edit on iMovie because oh, it's just a long winded story but my MacBook has never had enough storage so yeah anyway it's really frosty outside the grass is like so frosty the cars are frosty the roofs are frosty it looks so nice but it's sunny as well so it's quite a nice day so I am going to attempt to go for a walk at some point as well or possibly do some food shopping because I'm absolutely def desperate for some food. Guys, it's literally 20 to 3 and I've only just scheduled the Fiori Fight vlog. Like, I can't cope. I've not even had a shower yet and it's 20 to 3 and I've been sat here since 9am. What the hell? I've just had some lunch. I had some noodles and broccoli. Like roasted broccoli with like chilli and garlic and stuff. And now I'm going to edit my vlogmas week one and I'm going to get it done. It should be quicker because I've not had to make my intro and outro. Honestly, someone please tell me how it's five o'clock and I've still not finished what I need to finish for the brand that I needed to finish yesterday. Ah. <laughs> uh. I promise these will get more interesting. <laughs> Good morning everyone. I hair oiled last night, so I'm gonna wash my hair now and get ready for the day. Okay, that's a lie. I'm just gonna firstly figure out what I've got to do today because I've been getting very well overwhelmed with certain projects recently and today's the day that I wanna conquer them all and be able to start fresh on one day with new projects and new clients because the ones that I'm working with right now let's just say the clients that always pay less are the ones that are more stressful and more annoying and demand so much more I just put my hair up because I was making pasta and I've just washed my hair so I don't want it to smell basically I hair oiled last night I don't know if I told you that or not no, I don't think I did. I put hair oil on last night and then washed it this morning and oh my god, it has never felt better. Like, I'm going to do it every time the night before I wash my hair because it's a game changer. I'm also going to order some rosemary oil because apparently that's really, really good for hair growth. And I have these like patches here where I have like no hair. Um, so definitely going to try that as well. I was just watching um, Gabriella's vlogmas and realised that I haven't vlogged myself today so <laughs> thought I'd get my camera out and tell you what I've been up to. I've been working non-stop, managed to get like two, four, five, six videos done for brands and what else have I done? Nothing else, I can't remember. Anyway, I've just been working all day basically. Just made myself some pasta because I was absolutely starving and I'd not eaten so definitely needed that so good i make it from fresh i basically just like throw whatever veggies i've got left over and some chopped tomatoes tomato puree and a little bit of soft cheese and blend it up in the blender and then cook it as a sauce put it on pasta and it's so nice quarter past four i really need to go food shopping but yet again my car is still in the garage and it's been eight weeks now and i'm, I'm honestly this close to losing my shit and it's so close to happening anyway my point is i need to go food shopping but i need to wait for my mum to come back so that i can take her car and that is my life right now and that's been my life for the past eight weeks what is my hair doing 
I've not done anything to my hair today apart from dry it. It's looking a bit drab to be honest. But I really want one of those um, blow dry brushes because I feel like it would look really good with my hair. I'm going to just double check my to-do list for today. And I've still got a bit of work to do but it's mainly just like on my laptop and emails and stuff. So I might just do that for the next couple of hours. And then hopefully we'll be able to go food shopping. Yay, so exciting. This Vlogmas is great. Good morning everyone, it is Saturday. I didn't film much yesterday at all because again, I was really busy with work and just trying to stay on top of things. Sorry if you can't hear me very well, I'm making a soup. So basically, whenever I'm feeling like I'm gonna get a cold or something like that, which everyone around me right now has this really bad cough and really don't wanna get it. So I always make this soup when I don't wanna catch anything or I feel like I'm gonna catch something. And it's from a really crazy diet that I would not recommend that anyone does. But the soup has so much nice stuff in it and I add stuff like ginger and extra little things that it doesn't have in it that help me. And so basically yesterday I went food shopping and stocked up on loads of fruit and veg. So the next few days I'm going to eat loads of this soup and loads of fruit and just stay on top of myself. Eat lots, not do this diet. <laughs> but just use things from it that I know are going to help me not catch these horrible colds and stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm really, really hungry. I've had some raspberries for my breakfast, so I cannot wait to eat this soup. I will put um, a little screenshot of the recipe here. I'm not going to say which diet it's from because I don't want anyone to try the diet because it's basically five days of eating soup and it's a weight loss diet and I don't really want anyone to do that. Um, it's very extreme. So yeah, I'll put the recipe here. It's very basic, very easy, and I just blend it up at the end. These, the people that made this recipe, they don't blend it, but I like to blend it so it's smooth. And yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do today, to be honest. I'm meant to be going to look at a house, um, but I'm still not certain whether to or not. I'm really, really, really sick of looking at houses and trying to find somewhere to live. And the market is just absolutely shocking right now. So, yeah, I'm kind of exhausted from it, but if I don't keep looking, then I'm never gonna find one. I just wanna make sure that my carrots are tender before I blend it. This one's so hot. <gasps> oh. mm. I love carrots so much. Anyone else loves sitting outside when it's like a little bit crisp and cold out? I love it. I think it's just like to rain actually. What is everyone up to today? What is everyone doing this weekend? I feel so bizarre when I have a free weekend now. I'm usually working all weekend, whether that's with Monster or the boxing. And I haven't got anything on this weekend, but the first time in five weekends. So I'm just enjoying doing like cozy things. I might even bake later, because that'd be really nice. I need to go and pick a parcel up from the little, you know, the postal lockers. I bought some boots that I loved in Zara, um, but they were 60 quid and I was like, I don't really need them. I've got like three pairs of black boots, but I loved them. And then I found them on Vinted for like 40 quid. So I bought them on Vinted because I got like 200 pounds in my Vinted account. And I just, I'm just like keeping it sat there in case I want to buy something. And I found them and I was like, I am treating myself to these because all that money is from old clothes that I've sold. So. I might as well buy new ones with it. That is another thing that I'm going to do today as well. I'm going to have another clear out and put loads on Vinted. So if you want to follow my Vinted, I will put it here. I'm going to put loads of stuff on. I have this clear out like every few months, but I feel like I keep having them more recently because I'm trying to have a capsule wardrobe rather than just loads of crap. And yeah, so I'm going to do that today as well. I'm going to have a little bit of a clear out. <laughs> this is my soup blender. I flipping love it and when I move out this is my mum so I can't take it but when I move this is the first thing I'm wearing because it's amazing it's really hot still but you can still blend when it's hot so it's fine and voila it looks like shit but it tastes so damn good hi guys please excuse the state of me I don't know why I apologize for that every single time but 
but right now I love the worst I've ever looked from my point of view in this camera so that's why I feel like I have to anyway I've got two days worth of advent calendars open so I thought I'd do them with you we all know the drill, PLT, BUT Advent Calendar. What day flipping is it? Let me have a look. I forgot. I think it's 9 and 10 I've got to do. Yeah, it's the 10th today. I just look so bad. I need to put my hair off. Something. I need to do something. I hate having my hair down when I've got no makeup on. It looks weird. That looks even worse. But you know, here we are anyway. <laughs> right, 9 and 10 to do. 9 is here. It's another long one. I've got my little collection of all my advent kind of things going on. This one's quite a heavy one actually. Ooh, what is it? Some bubble wrap and everything. It's an eyeshadow palette! A PLT one. That looks so nice. Love that. My battery is going to die so if I suddenly switch to my phone, that's why. Ooh, it's another massive one. I feel like... It's not really a massive one though. <laughs> Honestly, imagine you're the person that's sat and done all these. I would love it. Or even sat and chosen what products are going in. That would be like my favourite job ever. Oh my god, it's a brush. It's a little eyeshadow brush. Love that. Pretty little thing. PLT06, if anyone is interested. Cute. Definitely going to need that. Now, I have got, literally, about two minutes ago, through the door, a package from Revolution. I have a feeling it's a PR package because they did email me to say that they were putting me on, my, on their PR list a couple of months ago, but they said that I would get a package in October and I didn't, or November, so I just thought oh, maybe they'd just not put me on it. I've, always, I've been gifted stuff for years and years, but I have never been on someone's PR list. So this is so exciting for me. I cannot cope. This is absolutely incredible. I'm going to think it's lip glosses. Lip care meets gloss. Indulge your lips with the Revolution Lip Swirl Ceramide Gloss. Stop it. Look at all the pink fuzzy stuff. Oh my god, there's loads. There's loads. There's loads. Oh my god, they've sent me loads. They've sent me five glosses. Oh my god, that is so kind. These look so fun. They're like all, um, like, they look like sweets. Oh my god, I'm so excited to try these. So I think it's like a gloss and a, like, balm all in one. So I've got berry pink, cherry mauve, a clear gloss, gloss clear, <laughs> uh, bitten red. That's going to be really nice. I think that's going to be like the Fenty one. Soft pink. Oh my god, I'm so excited to try definitely these three. I really want to try the bit and cherry one actually. Bit and red, sorry. You know when you put like a red gloss on but it's like really faint and it just looks like your lip colour. I think that's what they're going to be like. How adorable. I'm obsessed. I can't open it. What? That's going to be so nice. It's like balmy. It's not glossy. But it looks glossy in here. It looks like my lips but bitten. Thank you so much, Revolution. I'm actually obsessed. I've never been on someone's PR list before. Ceramide Lip Swirl. Very balmy, not very glossy, very, very balmy, which I absolutely love. Good morning everyone, shock, I am in this position again. It's quarter past one, still not out of shower, but it's Sunday, so who cares? I went to see a house yesterday and... Why is the hot tub doing that? Look, why is the hot tub steaming out of there? Is that normal? Is that too hot? Should that be happening? I don't 
don't know. Anyway, it's snowed. Anyway, went to see a house last night and I'm having it. And it's really, really convenient because it's someone that I know that owns it. So I can have it without having to like have all the stressy parts of going through an agent and fees and all the checks and all that i can just literally be given the key give them the first month's rent and move straight in um i am renting for now because i don't want to be tied to one place and i have no idea where i want to buy yet so my intention was to buy but i still just don't know where i want to buy so i'm not gonna pressure myself um and yeah, I can still make it my own. I can do whatever I want to it. Like he said, I can do whatever I want. So I'm really, really excited. It's tiny, but it's super cute. And there's a big bedroom. There's big space to have a dressing room. There's space for an office, studio. Like I'm just so excited. And I have literally spent the last four hours looking for a sofa and a bed. Because the first things that I'm doing is the things that I desperately need as of like, as soon as I move in, which is a bed, a sofa, washing machine, and a fridge, freezer. So they're the things that I'm looking for today. And I'm really stressed already because there's just so much choice and yeah, it's all very expensive, but you know what? I've saved for a while now to get the things that I want. So I'm getting the things that I want and I'm just buzzing. I'm gonna make a new TikTok and Instagram. So I will let you know what they are when I have made them as little like home accounts. <laughs> this is the only position that you see me in recently but this is the reality of me right now oh the bubble just fell out um i could barely open my eyes this morning i don't know why like now i'm not even that tired oh my god look at the cobwebs it's so icy and snowy i've just been looking at everyone that's been like stuck on the m25 overnight and i cannot believe how bad it is in like london and like down south um it's not that bad up here it has has it snowed again I'm not sure if it has snowed again, but I think it's just stayed from yesterday and it's very, very cold. So it's like not gone to much. It's just kind of stayed and gone a bit icy. But look at cobwebs on the um, decking. Oh my God. I'm obsessed. It's like Halloween. They look fake. Wow. Oh so yeah. Yesterday I didn't really explain what had happened with the house and stuff, but I'm definitely having it. So literally... My whole weekend has been sat on that sofa looking at the things that I desperately need, like a bed, a sofa, a fridge, a washing machine. Um, and I've still not bought any of them. I still haven't decided on any of them. And I'm really struggling. I know the sofa that I want, but it's not going to come till like early February. And I don't know if I can wait that long, to be honest. <laughs> like I'm going to be moving in ASAP and it's still December. I know that's like the case with a lot of sofa places, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, to be honest, I'm really worried about buying everything online because you just don't know. And I'm like, I'm buying big things that are very expensive and I don't want to buy something and hate it. But the bed, I know the bed, the bed and the sofa that I want is not in any stores. So there's not really much point in me going to stores to have a look because I know which one I want. But the one thing that I'm going to do is go and test mattresses out and go and test. I am going to go and test sofas just to see like cushions and like depth and how big they are. Because I'm looking at ones online and I'm like, yeah, I want that big one. But actually there's not much space in my new living room. <laughs> So, I probably can't get one that big. But then I'm looking at the smaller ones and I'm like, no, it's going to be way too small. So, I just need to go and have a look and see what's going to be too small, what's going to be too big, what's the happy medium. Um, But today, it's Monday, and I need to get some work done because I've not done anything all weekend. Not that I do ever work much on a weekend unless I'm, like, at the boxing or Monster. But, yeah, I feel like today is a work day and I must do work and not get distracted by beds. Also, I made a TikTok. 
I might make an Instagram as well. Um, but yeah, I've got TikTok here. I can't wait to start posting on it. But I'm deciding on two different beds now. So I'm going to do a TikTok on that. Get people's opinions. And then um, when I've done some work, I'm going to... I still haven't got my car back. So this is an issue that we're still dealing with as well. Um, don't want it to stress the city. I can't cope any longer. I need to go to college at some point and look at fridges and washing machines. How thrilling, adult life. And that was kind of it for week two of Vlogmas. I have bought a bed, I have bought a sofa. Things have already gone wrong, so tune into Vlogmas week three and it will be a lot more exciting than this week, that's for sure.